There's two, yeah, there's two tweets I've retweeted. One, one of them is about reality, blog, blog reality update. Um, because I've done, they're gradually continuing, but, but, but I'm, I'm very happy to, to link to social media and clips from other people, especially people part of the extra fringe that, uh, next week. Um, but I'm also sort of developing my own stuff because it, it's easier to, for me to mess about with it. It's how it seems to work out. And um, as hashtags, one of them is HE Ruins. And I'm, I'll, I'll explain this again for new listeners. Uh, a while ago, four or five years ago, uh, Peter Horrocks uh, was vice chancellor of the Open University and put a lot of money into FutureLearn, which is a, a MOOC platform. And um, a lot of people thought that was a bit of a strange idea at the time. And eventually he had to uh, resign but not before he gave a lecture at Durham about the Fortress University and the way in which it um, was a bit limited and could be opened up by uh, the interwebby and so forth. Um, and the Fortress University idea, um, I don't think Durham have promoted it as much as they could have done. It is, the lecture is on YouTube. Um, but I think it's only had about 250, 300 views, which I think is is a bit disappointing or strange, really. Um, the Guardian did, did an interview, Peter Wilby, which had a lot of quotes, um, probably sourced to open university people, quite negative about his ideas and so forth. But since then... Um, I don't know how FutureLearn is doing, but Coursera seems to be doing okay. They, they've um, got funding, and uh, edX has been sold on. Um, it is it is all getting a bit a bit a bit more commercial. The the MOOC scene definitely changing, but it, it, if the humanities, social science people don't get involved or only get involved to a limited extent, then. Um, the scene's going to go a certain sort of way. I'll just, that's my observation about it. Uh, anyway, there's there's um, two the two plays that I do th that are trying to approach all of that sort of indirectly. Uh, H. E. Ruins is is one that's sort of based in Kendall because there's a very good set of ruins there. The castle is is definitely past its peak. And um, that could have been the site of the Fortress University. Um, there's there's still bits of wall in Exeter, by the way, that that would would do as a as a sort of functioning. But what the what the time scale is of the Fortress University, I don't, I don't, I don't know. But that's okay. That lends itself to science fiction or period drama or well, anyway, we'll come we'll come back to that one. But then there's CD Walk, which is a, a hashtag, and that is based on walking around Exeter. Uh, it could work in any city, I think, but we've started with Exeter, looking at where the music used to be retailed in terms of um, vinyl or CDs or th that uh, T-shirts, whatever, um, and how much space is actually needed now. So in Exeter, there's, uh, there's HMV, there's Rooster Records, but there's lots of shops or spaces where other, other uh, sites did exist. And I, 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 I don't, I don't see why education won't go this in a similar way. It's gonna, it's gonna be um, a hybrid or or blended or something. There's gonna be some way, some way to describe it or arrange it. Uh, but I can't see why it will need as much space, or why the building craze is continuing. Um, why, why, why the student accommodation is on such a scale? I think. I, I just find it strange and as as for demolishing um, a retail space a, a mall such such as Harlequin's thinking it's going to be more viable uh, I'd, 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 for anyway I'm going I'm going on too long anyway that's one one of the blogs one of one of the tweets you can find uh, w e n o t n o 